Some baby animals, like these little armadillos that curl up into balls, can protect themselves from predators just fine. But overall, the youngest animals in the animal kingdom are always the weakest. Fortunately, they have their mothers to protect them. Let's find out some of the wildest methods mother animals use to protect their babies on Wildpedia. It's not hard to imagine how dangerous a big waterfall can be. But that's where swifts, a type of bird native to the northern part of South America, build their nests to hide their babies and themselves as well. Putting their nests behind a waterfall means that their nests are always hidden by a constant stream of water that no predators can get through. I honestly have no idea how they came up with this, but it's a great strategy. And the swifts are probably the only bird out there that's adapted so well to flying through powerful jets of water. They actually fly through waterfalls twice a day. Their schedule is this. Swifts spend all day out and about flying in the air, and in the evening, one by one, they rush back through the waterfall to their nest. Maybe these birds have woodpeckers in their lineage that makes it easy for them to fly head first into hard surfaces. In the past, some researchers didn't even believe that swifts could survive flying through waterfalls, but what looks like an impossible task for other birds is simply business as usual for the swifts. If you don't want you and your babies to get eaten, you have to get creative. And the hornbill birds have done just that. They lay their eggs inside tree hollows. But before she lays her eggs, the mother hornbill seals the entrance to the hollow from the inside with dirt droppings or fruit pulp. And she seals it up almost completely so that only a small hole or slit remains and her male partner will feed her through that hole. This is a pretty simple but effective defense. After all, no one will climb into your nest if there's no way for them to climb into it. A few weeks after the horn-built chicks hatch, the female destroys the defensive wall she constructed earlier, gets out of the hollow, and then reseals it behind her. The chicks then leave the hollow themselves when they grow into adults. Watching this guy struggle, you might wonder if they should try to leave the hollow when they're a little smaller. <laughs> Two very boring minutes later. Now, you may have been thinking about all the waste that builds up inside the tree hollow during the time the birds are in there. And yes, indeed, that is a problem. That's why the females of some species of hornbills dump their dirty litter the through hell? a hole in the bottom of the hollow. Damn! This form of protection doesn't come from mother frogs, but it does come from mother nature, and it's so cool we had to go ahead and add it to the list with all the others. Look, a snake is attacking a clutch of tadpoles. Wow, they're moving really fast. They're certainly not going to wait around to be eaten. Normally, these future tree frogs need more time to hatch. But as soon as a predator is near, the tadpoles activate a special escape protocol. See, when the snakes are in the water, they create vibrations which give tadpoles the signal that something is wrong. They secrete special enzymes, dissolving the sticky shell of their membrane so they can easily break free and get away from the snakes. Imagine how surprised the snakes are. Hey, what happened? You wouldn't normally expect a group of frogs to escape. It's like your oatmeal suddenly crawled out of your bowl and disappeared into the unknown. With this defense mechanism, the frog parents don't even need to be around to guard their offspring. The tadpoles can easily handle everything on their own. When it comes to protection, there are some animals underwater that we can look up to. The Big Mouth Hap is a species of fish that can only be found in Lake Malawi in Africa, or maybe in someone's aquarium. Now, how do these mothers protect their babies? Well, they do so by placing their offspring inside their mouths. What? Yeah, seriously. 
Just imagine you're a young, big mouth hap playing around with your brothers and sisters, and then all of a sudden a big fish opens her mouth and gobbles you up. It might freak you out at first, but it's just your mom trying to keep you safe. But that means if a bigger fish ever wants to eat your entire family for lunch, he just has to eat your mom. And just like that, it's lights out for your whole family. So this is a pretty smart way for a big mouth hap to protect her babies, but it really only works when protecting her family against smaller predators. Sounds like it would work great though against any predators you might find inside of an aquarium. It's not just the big mouth haps that protect their babies by putting them inside of their mouths. Crocodiles do this too, though not on a regular basis. While female crocodiles don't hide their babies inside their mouths at the first sign of danger, they do use their mouths to transport babies from the place on land where they were born and into the water. This is so the little baby crocodiles don't fall prey to other predators. Mother crocodiles can be pretty fierce, but they can't protect their babies 100% of the time. That's why many baby crocodiles do indeed die young, despite all the maternal care. Predators find them desirable and easy prey, and in response, the mother crocodiles are always hyper-vigilant and scanning for threats. When they hear noises that sound even similar to the sounds that their babies make, they will rush over to that area, thinking that maybe their young crocodiles have started to hatch. Mother crocodiles also enlist the help of some nannies to help take care of their babies. Get out of the way! I said get out! These so-called nannies are Euro-Asian stone curlews, which are small birds that are as courageous as honey badgers. They lay their eggs very close to crocodile clutches, so that they and the mother crocodiles can team up to guard their future offspring together. And these birds may look small, but don't even think about saying that these stone curlews aren't very good at defending their young from predators. These birds are always ready to react, and they will even lunge at big lizards that happen to be walking by their nest. Like this. Uh, doggone it! Get out of the way! It looks like he's about to say, hey, you're in the wrong neighborhood, buddy. The crocodiles help birds out in return as well, and prey on all the predators trying to approach their joint nesting places. So this joint babysitting arrangement really is an ideal situation. And let's be honest, it's much easier to protect your babies when you're a huge predator like a crocodile. They probably do a much better job than guinea fowls, whose babies seem to get eaten all the time. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with everyone, including your mom, and remember to tell her that you love her. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to check out more from Wildpedia. See you in the next video!